There are people who Allah makes many things easy for them. Please listen to this carefully. Allah makes many things easy for them. For some of you, Allah made money easy for you. It's just easy for you. For some of you, confidence is easy. It's no big deal. Other people get nervous, you don't get nervous. For some students of mine, studies are easy. Like I, I study, I teach Arabic. Some of my students, wallahi, I can tell Allah made Arabic easy for this one. Allah makes one thing easy, then He makes the next thing easy, and then makes the next thing easy, and the next thing easy. Is everything always going to be easy? No, sometimes you will fail. There's a student who gets used to getting a hundred the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and the fifth time he gets a fifty. All of a sudden. And he's used to what? A hundred. So he said, oh forget it, I am worthless. Allah is no longer with me. You know, what's the point now? Because you get, you get used to riding so high. That one little failure, one setback, and you're just crushed. You are completely crushed. What's the point? I'm dropping out of school. I don't want to do this anymore. I hate this. You know what? You have to, that's, this is when you didn't remind yourself at every single success, that that success was a combination of two things. Your effort and Allah's help. Every single hundred you got before wasn't because it was easy. You put effort and Allah, Allah gave His barakah. You put effort and Allah gave His barakah. And this time when it doesn't happen, two things could be wrong. Number one, maybe you didn't put enough effort. And when you don't put enough effort, Allah does not give His barakah. And maybe even if you put effort, Allah decided that He will not give you barakah, maybe that's better for you. One of my best friends in life used to be a Hindu. And he wanted to go to med school. He, and he was a straight A student, straight A's his entire life, perfect scores, highest scores in the SATs. Applied to med school, he was expecting a full scholarship, he got rejected. He was completely shattered, he ended up in a different university, he decided to do computer science instead. And he was complete, he's still a Hindu, he's you know, completely depressed. Except he met people in, in his new college, Muslims, who he started hanging out with and within two years he took Shahada. And he looks back now, he goes, thank Allah I didn't make it to med school. When I failed med school, I thought it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. And now I look back at my life and I say, I failed med school, it is the best thing that ever happened to me. You know? Now his kids are memorizing Quran, subhanAllah. So we have to, sometimes we have to have trust in Allah, we get used to riding a high wave, and one little setback comes and we lose our trust in Allah. And then there are others, who Allah gives you one difficulty, then He gives you another difficulty, then He gives you another difficulty, and He gives you another difficulty, and you start believing that I will never accomplish anything. My life is just difficult, man. Everything is hard for me. I keep getting fired. I keep failing my tests. I keep doing that. You get depressed. And even this one has to remember that success in this world, everything that happens is a combination of two things. I have to put in my effort and Allah will make the task easy. I'll share this last thing with you. There are two parts of this dua so far. It's not even the whole dua. I just wanted to share these two statements with you. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri. There's a, there's a sir balaghi. There's a very beautiful eloquence to this statement. Allah is teaching us that if you have a calm heart, if you have a positive attitude, and you have tawakkul in Allah, and you put your work in, then Allah will make your mission easy. But if you start with the attitude, I know it's not going to work anyway, but I'll try. You already began with a defeated attitude, Allah will not make your task easy for you. You have to come with sharh al-sadr, you have to have an open chest, a positive attitude, belief that Allah will give you success in what you do. And if He doesn't give it to you, well, you know, you're still saying Alhamdulillah. But you don't walk into an effort. You don't start a project. You don't start doing any work. And you begin with saying, I'm probably not going to succeed anyway, given my track record. You don't begin with that attitude. Then Allah will not make your job easy for you. So if we have that good heart before Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah will make our task easy for us subhanahu wa ta'ala. With that I pray that Allah Azza wa Jal gives us all the ability to take advantage of the wisdom of, our, of the great prophets of Allah alayhi salatu wa salam that is captured in their du'as. They said such few words, but they told us, they taught us so much of how to better our lives as believers and how to live our life successfully for Allah's deen and also make the best of this dunya. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us find the balance between this deen and this dunya as He intends it. And may Allah put all of us to the service of His beautiful deen. And this Ummah, Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim. Wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikri al-Hakim.